the morning. Saturday morning, I believe they got the Mulberry Festival over here in Matthews, Mississippi today, but I ain't gonna be able to make that right now. Today, we're gonna head over here. We are at uh, Evergreen Ag, gonna grab a little uh, feed. So today's video will be about uh, just kind of what I gotta do to get ready for these hog jobs that, that I have coming up. So today, y'all see, I got multiple places I gotta go today, and we'll see if we can't uh, show you kind of what I got going on through the day about how to get ready for these hog jobs. So let's head on in and get loaded up on some corn. So we're pulling on back in to the back. There's my corn right there. I gotta get these boys ready. All right. Uh, all right, we filming. We got 10 bags of corn. Right. See, we can't get them loaded up. They wouldn't let me get 11. They said it couldn't nobody count over 10. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just throw them out of the back as best we can. And, uh, so we're going to load up with all the corn today is what we're doing. Or for the, Trying to get enough for the weekend. I don't know. I got several spots. I got to go uh, get ready for these hog jobs. I think I'm up to uh, four jobs. I got to get. I got four traps. We're going to try to run pretty fast. Uh, yeah, and I got two bags are already mine. Two bags are already mine. So any which way, like I said, we're at Evergreen. And I look for my buddy down on the forklift. He being a little slow, though. We got to dock his pay down there. <laughs> Any which way, but like I said, we're loading up. We're finna head to the job, so y'all y'all ride with us. All right, we're loaded down there. As y'all can see, I got hundred and six dollars worth of corn. <laughs> anyway, that's my man right there. Look, y'all look at him. Y'all look at him. <laughs> that boy famous you hear it <laughs> i love these folks but anyway let's go uh get some corn out and see what we can find what the hogs do We're pulling in right here this is one if i've been on the road about 30 minutes y'all know this road. oh there's a hen right there in the road man they everywhere must be up here nesting or something by herself but Anyway, been on the road about 20 minutes, so take about 20, 25 miles to get to this spot, which this is on the way to the club, so you can kind of know. Y'all haven't seen this video yet right here, but we have set a trap right here in this yard where they tear it up, so nothing come in last night. I said that yesterday, so y'all haven't seen that video yet. Anyway, let's see he's on down here to, to the trap, and uh, I'm sorry, down here to get on the range or get loaded up some stuff, and uh, go check some spots. four or five places you're trying to do you know like i said it took us i said it was 20 minutes or so but actually it was a little bit about 10 or 10 or 15 minutes longer than that let's see if we do two down there two over there that'll be them two so uh i'll throw in a extra bag just in case anyway we uh let's go figure out i'm gonna go i'll show you on the map over here in just a sec all right so we are Right now, we are here about center. I'm gonna drive, follow these roads. I don't really see where the road's at. And that's the power line there. Uh, anyway, we're trying to get to here, where we're gonna get. So yeah, down here at the, at the pea patch, we're gonna be looking at a spot there where some holes were during turkey season. We'll try to get those caught. Come all the way back up, and then we're gonna go uh, find our road and here, come down, go through the woods right there, and we're gonna come out on this, uh, what they call the snake field. And we'll do that, and then we're gonna come back and get the trailer and load the ranger up, and we're gonna go out and get back out on the highway. We're gonna get back out on the highway, and we're gonna come all the way in over here on Jeff Saw Road. And uh, I got a trap in here where I caught a bunch of them, so I'm gonna pull that trap. And uh, we may also uh, check on checking on some spots for some hogs there too so potentially i know we're trapping we're going to trap on here and then we're going to be trapping here 
this is 1600 acres or so 2000 acres something like that so we're hitting there and then we're going to try to hit this spot here as well so and see what the holes we got so oh y'all enjoy the ride or the spots where i end up going or end up at and uh just kind of give you an idea of what it takes or what i do like i said it was nine o'clock when i left and uh i left the house this morning about 9 15. so we'll do a time frame when all this is done on this spot and other spots i got took a they come in here and took a feeder out but uh <coughs> they had a feeder on the other end right there uh shoot out that shooting house right there so anyway but you can tell hogs have been in this spot right here and the way you tell that is the way that grass is just knocked down uh and stuff like that so i'm actually going to put a camera up over here somewhere uh looks like a little trail coming up right there there's probably coons or whatnot but I'm gonna put me up, ding me down a little old trail, trail camera and, and everything and see if we can't get this spot and see what, how many hogs uh, is coming to this south end of the property. So big old slows back that way. When I say big old slows, I mean big old slows. I mean, you ain't crossing them slows, you know, uh, and kind of that way and that way. It's kind of like an island of trees right through the middle. <coughs> so, oh, any which way. Oh, I guess that's, what is that, wheat or something? I don't know. <laughs> it grew up tall in here, so. Oh, uh, Eddie Hoos. Let's get started, guys. Let's get started. Enough of me talk. All right. Let's see if we can get a spot for a camera. I figure we just put a camera right in here somewhere. It's not a not a great big uh, problem. Just we can. Just right here. It may be too hard to put it right here. Pretty hard down. Don't have a driver. Got to break that crust, I reckon. Break her up a little bit. We're just going to put a camera over that. And this is a cell link camera. That way I can kind of keep up with how many hogs is here and, and all that. Oh, I wish I had one of those live ones. I mean, I got a live big camera for my trap, but, you know, they make them now where, like this, you can uh, pull up live on these. We'll check out and see. My main thing is we gotta get rid of these hogs. You gotta do your scouting. What I tell people all the time, do your scout work. Always gotta do your scout work. If you don't do your scout work, you just kinda, you'll mess around and miss pigs. You'll get pigs on there. I got another spot that I'm at, that I'm going to here shortly. I had eight pigs, three big sows, and some piglets. Five or six pigs. And a uh, landowner sent me a picture this morning. He's got a camera over there. I didn't have to take the camera. He's got a camera over there. And it's about a new group of eight. So uh, you never know. So uh, We'll cut that on. See how it goes. and We'll do what we need to do and be on the road, son. Now we're on to the next spot, so 
Well, he's on back out of here. We got a good little ride up through some hardwood and whatnot to the next spot. So, uh, y'all just stay tuned with us. You know, you know the drill. Rolling, 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 rolling. acres broke up in like 1300 i mean 13 blocks whatever but you can see uh landowner has a camera there on the tree and you can see that the hogs have just been in here uh tearing all this up so uh but anyway and also look like a little turkey been in there <laughs> but uh anyways you can see they just kind of hog tracks all through there but what they'll do is he brought that in here and this dries up a little bit uh, they'll feed that protein to these animals, uh, to these deer throughout the year, kind of help them, you know, and stuff like that. And then, uh, of course, you know, uh, I'm sponsored by Lucky Buck with the Freak Factor, so that's 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 good stuff for them and whatnot. But anyway, what we're trying to do is get these hogs caught and laid down before uh, you start filling those protein feeders up and stuff like that. That way, uh, the hogs ain't eating it all. So, anyways, uh, we'll get this spot taken care of and then uh we rolling on to see if we can't go take a trap down it's on this piece of property but remember i showed you on the map way over yonder so <laughs> uh, we got that taken care of and we're getting on out of here get back to the truck load the trailer up and uh go to the other spot over there and see about check on the hog trap and everything and uh see if we're gonna move it and make check on see if we see any more hog sign over there as well so that would be like uh three or four spots i'd have kind of prepped up ready to roll on this place but you just gotta stay on that's why you gotta hit them fast and hard when it comes to pig trapping you know and uh a lot of people think they just go out and it don't take much time but i put a lot of time in it so we'll see i'm gonna show you real quick you can see this is uh it's kind of pretty i love these old creeks especially when the mosquitoes ain't hitting you hard which they will in just a minute but this creek Right here just kind of goes through this property. It's kind of the property line when you start photoing some of these places, you know, down these bottoms. It's, it's just hard, but luckily I've got this old creek and it's kind of the property line that goes through there. But, and people always ask me like, how many pigs is on this piece of property? Well, across that creek, uh, it's like a 4,000 acre block, one block of land by one landowner. I don't pig trap over there, but you gotta think what you're seeing over here, what I pig trap on, it's got the same kind of land on the other side of the creek and they don't hit them as hard as we do. So what happens is, even though I'm knocking them down here, they breed a lot over there and eventually they just, they just work their way over here. So uh, 
you know, new territory boars find with their day, that the territories are not being taken up by other hogs and they just kind of move in and looking for feed too. So, I mean, they're, they're not just like, Oh, new territory. They're, they're finding feed over here. And, uh, so, uh, but what would happen is they would just keep breeding over there and push their way over here anyway. So, uh, maybe one day, uh, Maybe when I'm retired, I could handle, maybe I could work a deal with the landowner over there to to uh, be a trapper for them as well. But right now I got all I can handle. But uh, maybe maybe when I'm not working at my real job that I hate, <laughs> you know, I could do this full time and, and really make a, a, a cool living and help a lot of folks. But anyway, we're just right here at the turnaround spot. Uh, people camp out right here too and everything. So anyway, I just want to show you all that. Uh, let's get back to the truck. Turned on warm, guys. Anyway, I loaded up the Ranger. You can probably see back there. I mean, I got the Ranger loaded up with this and going out on the road and go back around to the other spot now. So, anyway, I didn't think y'all needed to see me load up the Ranger. Y'all seen it before. So, you know, let's lead on out of here and uh, go do some work. We hit the next spot. Oh, oh, we hit the next spot. Put some tight hogs to trap down with. Might see if we got some hogs back here again. Got caught several back here. Oh, man. Got <coughs> Man, I need something to drink. <coughs> anyway, let's roll. So I was looking for another spot. I think I'm going to do it right behind that mound. That's like the three or 400 yard mark on that shooting range. The shooting range, we just come up. I didn't show it good, I guess. But anyway, I'm going to start. I, you know, I saw some sign right there, and I was like, well, this is probably a good spot right here. But I want to show you also, look right here where they've been wallowing. They just come in here and get in this old red mud right here. Just wall her up. Get out in there and they cool off and they stay up in here. You can see they done rubbed up against the trees right there, scratching the lice and whatever else they got on them off. Uh, so I think we'll start another uh, spot right here where the trailer's at. And uh, it's, it seems to have a little better service right here maybe than the other spot. I'm not sure. We'll try it, but we'll give it a get a few days and see what's up but i'll show you right here just for a second there's where the other trap is there's the trap right there so that's where i've been catching i don't know when i caught there 30 or so so but i didn't have great service and that was in the winter time with no leaves so now we need to kind of get out here maybe the leaves won't block it so we'll start up a spot right here they seem to kind of like to be bed up and that's what you do you know a lot of times when you keep the hogs fat and happy what it is they get they they feed Feed, 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 and then go lay up in those shades all day. Come out and feed, 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 and go up and lay in the shade. And that keeps them from rooting up, tearing up a bunch of stuff. And uh, so anyway, that's the plan. So once we get here, we'll go down there, take the trap, load it up, move it back to the camp. As you can see, we at the trap. Bloody mess. But anyway, we're going to get it loaded up. And uh, let's take the pins is in there. Oh! <laughs> We'll pull the safety on that, and we'll pull the safety on that, and we'll come over here, and, oh, it wasn't going to trip. It was winched up. What a goober. <laughs> Couldn't have dropped it if I wanted to. It was just, it's winched up, so I just let it back down. Well, all right, then. Just, we'll just let it back down get this thing taken apart and I'll see you in a little bit when it's taken apart. All right. We loaded down ready to rock, but one, we got one problem. 
I just got called into work. So I gotta go get some power on in town and I'm not gonna be able to uh, finish today's job basically because it's gonna put me out of my way. So, uh, that's the way it goes. Uh, blessed to have a job, but I'll tell you, I absolutely 110% hate my job. Not the people in the city, but I hate my job and the people that the city elected. I hate working for them. I don't hate them. I just hate working for them. Uh, freaking ridiculous the way they do. But any which way. I'm headed to work. And uh, I'm going to do that job. Hope I'm safe. And then I'm going on to see my, my wife. Any which way. I appreciate y'all tagging along. Trying to get done. I don't, didn't get it all done. But we got some of it done. So y'all have a good one. God bless. And as always, Jesus loves you. <laughs>